All right, guys, in the last session, we learned about how to use black expression in Hedderball, which we are sending value straight from our server side of work and to, to our express Hedderball. We are using them like this, right? Well, we mentioned that what if we wanted to do some sort of conditional logic saying, hey, if this says this, then do this, or if this is not this, then do this, right? We give an example about age. Age might not be the ideal example. How about we have something how about we sending something from the f or to the index and we want to name this one to be like uh, uh, is display name. For example, we only want to display our name if this is true, which means if this is not true, then we don't want to display our name. We don't want anybody to see our name unless this value is set to true. So what we can do is head over our index and because this is where we are sending this value index and we can do a conditional logic down here before we added the name and what we can do is use something from express in the book called built-in helpers we're gonna add a list of how many of them they are out there for you guys but the built-in helper use exactly like a, an expression the way it works it's a little bit different you have to put pound if in the built-in expression name in this case it's if and then you have to close it with slash and the name of the built-in helper like this and like this and what you also need to do is in this if logic we're going to receive a value from the server side call is display name like is name display if it's display then we want to show our name then we can use this here inside of our helper the built-in helper itself and what this is going to do is this is going to check, all right, is this true? If it is true, then we want to display our name like this. So this is what we said. We said, all right, if this is if this is true, then we are displaying our name right here. Let's actually check this out and see if this works. Run our server. Again, now check this out. Is it true or is it true or false? No, it's false, which means we should not see our name display because it's only going to display if it's true. Let's see. And as you guys could see, I no longer see my name in Sterling because this value is equal to false. If it's now equal to true like this and check it out again, if I check it here, I will see my name is e Sterling because this value is set to true now this this works for balloon this also works for different type of data for example if this is undefined it's considered this as false and that means it won't show the name if this is an empty an empty array itself it's also considered them as false and it won't show the name but if this is like has something inside of it but point much one it's no longer considered as an empty array so you will go ahead and consider it as true there's a little bit tricky stuff behind this but let's just use a balloon to make it fancy uh, fancy looking for you guys and i hope that makes sense all right so the other thing that i also wanted to talk about is not only you can do if statement but you can also do else what if this is false but you wanted to show something else well you can by doing else right here and by doing else, you're saying, all right, if this is true, then do this. Then if this is not true, then we want to do something else. Let's say no name found, like something like this. So anything right after the else statement is going to fire. Now, let's check and see what is this. This is now false, which means that uh, this, uh, the, logic, uh, the logic of the if is not true then anything that is after the else is going to fire. Now let's check it out. You see, it said no name found because this is equal to false. But if this was equal to true, then we would actually see indeed, we'll see the name because we want to display the name. Well, we can do the same thing for the age as well. We can kind of go ahead and see is, is age enable. We can just call it enable. And then we can head over our index.handleball because that's where we are sending these things. Head over index.handleball. And here's the age. So we're going to do an if statement. Once again, pound sign if. And then we have to close it. Slash if. So that's how we kind of start with it.
pound sign to start and then slash if to close it. And we kind of receive this value here, here and this value is equal to is age enable. And then like this is age enable. If this is true, we can just display the age. For example, we can display I am and the value that's coming in from the age, it's age. And then we can also add an else statement saying else if there is no age, then we can add an else statement saying no age provided, something like that. And let's see. So both, uh, let's set both of them to false. So which means we should not see any name and no age, no name found, no age provided. Let's display the the name. And now we can see we can see the name provided, but the age is not provided. And let's set this one to true. And as you guys can see, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Now, the question is, what if we just wanted to check for the false? Like, what if we didn't want to have an if statement? We just wanted to check exactly for false. Like, if something is false, we don't need to have all this logic. Go ahead and just do something. Well, there is another helper that helps you do this. And you guys are going to see this in the next video.